When contemplating the malevolence of the Nazi regime, Auschwitz immediately comes to mind, an indelible symbol of terror, genocide, and the Holocaust. However, the scope of the camps and the Holocaust extends far beyond the confines of Auschwitz. All over the world, Auschwitz has become a symbol of terror, genocide, and the Holocaust. It was established by Germans in 1940, in the suburbs of Auschwitzum, a Polish city that was annexed to the Third Reich by the Nazis. This geographical detail underscores the strategic placement of the camp within Nazi-occupied territories, facilitating their sinister objectives. The history of the camps begins in 1933, seven years before Auschwitz was even set up. In the wake of the Great Depression, German democracy, the Weimar Republic, was destroyed, paving the way for the Nazi dictatorship led by Adolf Hitler. Despite the Nazi Party's significant popular support, with almost 44% of the vote in the last multi-party elections in March 1933, millions of Germans still rejected it. This resistance highlights the internal struggle within Germany against the rising tide of fascism. The direct reason for the establishment of the camp was the fact that mass arrests of Poles were increasing beyond the capacity of existing local prisons. The first transport of Poles reached KL Auschwitz from Tarnow Prison on June 14, 1940. This influx marked the initial chapter of Auschwitz's dark history, setting the stage for the atrocities that would unfold within its confines. Initially conceived as one more concentration camp in the tradition of those established in the early 1930s, Auschwitz functioned in this role throughout its existence. However, beginning in 1942, it transformed into the largest of the extermination centers where the Endlos under Judenfrage, the final solution to the Jewish question the Nazi plan to murder European Jews, was carried out. This shift underscores the calculated escalation of Nazi brutality within the concentration camp system. The Germans isolated all the camps and subcamps from the outside world and surrounded them with barbed wire fencing. All contact with the outside world was forbidden. However, the area administered by the Commandant and patrolled by the SS camp garrison went beyond the grounds enclosed by barbed wire. It included an additional area of approximately 40 square kilometers, the so-called Interessengebiet, the interest zone, which lay around the Auschwitz I and Auschwitz II Birkenau camps. This meticulously controlled environment speaks to the deliberate measures taken to ensure the secrecy and efficiency of the Nazi agenda. During the Second World War, concentration camps spread through much of Nazi-occupied Europe. Auschwitz, set up in 1940 to crush the Polish resistance, was the first of many new camps. Conditions inside camps, always poor, now became deadly. Many inmates died from illness and starvation. Many more were executed or died during horrific medical experiments. The proliferation of camps across Europe highlights the systemic nature of Nazi oppression, impacting diverse populations. From 1942, the camps participated in the Holocaust. Most of the six million European Jews murdered by the Nazis died outside concentration camps, shot or gassed on the killing fields of Eastern Europe. Still, the single most lethal site of the Holocaust was a concentration camp, Auschwitz. Here, the SS killed some one million Jews, most were murdered on arrival in gas chambers. The staggering scale of extermination emphasizes the need to recognize the Holocaust as a multifaceted tragedy that unfolded on various fronts. The end came in the first months of 1945 when Allied troops conquered what was left of the Third Reich. But liberation came too late for many concentration camp inmates. Between January and May 1945, when Germany capitulated, an estimated 300,000 prisoners died. Victims of disease, starvation, and execution, they died inside the hellish compounds and on death marches away from abandoned camps. This post-liberation suffering underscores the enduring impact of the Holocaust even after the collapse of the Nazi regime. Overall, some 2.3 million men, women, and children were taken to concentration camps between 1933 and 1945. Their fate was shaped by many factors, such as age, gender, and nationality. There were many different prisoner groups, including Jews, political prisoners, from Germany and abroad, homosexuals, criminals, gypsies, Soviet POWs, and Jehovah's Witnesses. 
Each group faced distinct forms of persecution, reflecting the perverse ideology that fueled the Nazi war machine. While Auschwitz stands as an emblem of horror, it is imperative to broaden our understanding of Nazi atrocities beyond this notorious camp. The proliferation of concentration camps across Europe underscores the systematic and widespread nature of the brutality inflicted by the Nazi regime. Each camp bore witness to a unique set of horrors, reflecting the diversity of victims and the ghastly experimentation conducted by the Nazis. The liberation of concentration camps by Allied forces revealed the extent of human suffering within these compounds. Emaciated bodies, evidence of malnutrition and disease, bore witness to the inhumane conditions prevailing in the camps. The survivors, haunted by the trauma they endured, faced the arduous task of rebuilding their lives amidst the ruins of a shattered world. Examining the broader historical context, the rise of the Nazi regime and the subsequent horrors unleashed during the Holocaust serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of democracy and the profound consequences of unchecked hatred. It is essential to delve into the complexities of this dark period, acknowledging the multitude of narratives that unfolded in the shadow of Nazi tyranny. Auschwitz may epitomize the depths of Nazi evil, but it represents only one facet of a much larger and more intricate historical tapestry. By exploring the expansiveness of the concentration camp system and the multifaceted experiences of its inmates, we gain a more comprehensive understanding of the atrocities committed during this harrowing chapter in human history.